Hey guys, this is Will with Joe's Gaming and Electronics and I'm here with a repair video. Today I'll be showing you how to replace a damaged speaker driver on your Beats Pill 2.0 speaker. Before we begin with the video, just letting you guys know that this repair is serviceable on our website. So this is a mail-in service where you can ship your speaker into us, we repair it and you ship it back and we ship it back if you would like us to do it. Also, the screwdrivers that are being used are also available on our website and the speaker part that we will be replacing is also available for you to purchase and do the repair yourself. To begin, grab the speaker, pull back the rubber cover. Also note that this plug is connected to the main housing, so this rubber seal is not gonna be taken off all the way. Just move it to the side and use your Phillips head screwdriver to remove four screws that hold the frame together. Next, remove the two screws holding the center ring. They're a bit smaller. Grab your flathead and pry out this part. Now that all that is removed, we can safely pry open the speaker. I like to use a pry tool similar to this. and open it up as a book as there are all of these ribbons connected to the main board and you do not want to damage them. First thing you'd want to do is free up this orange looking ribbon. By doing that, or to do that, you just flip open this connector piece and this piece does get bro broken pretty often so be careful. If you are looking for that piece and you break it, we can supply it to you, but be careful. This is an unnecessary broken piece that could happen. Next, there's a cable right behind it. Wiggle it free. And we've separated the speaker in half. So here's the part we'll be working with. Now there are four speakers that are on this unit. A great way to check if you're which speaker is damaged, you can simply pry back this grill and look around for any signs of damage. So typically these speakers go bad by physically ripping through and being visibly damaged. So that's a great indicator of which speaker is uh, bad. For this video, we'll just do a random speaker as a learning curve. Clip this back in, first clip in this side, there's a little ridge and add some force like that. Let's say we've identified that this is our bad speaker. Now screw the center screw. And I like to point out that there are two clips or parts here holding the speaker driver in place, which we will need to pry out. Actually, before doing so, let's grab our solder iron and desolder these ribbons that go to the speaker. 
Be sure to memorize or remember where the wires go. Now we can work on frying the speaker out. You can go ahead and pull out this um, adhesive that's holding it down. And gently go around and fry the speaker out. Like so. And here's your speaker driver. Now this is how you will receive your speaker driver. So let's go ahead and install the speaker back in and do this whole process in reverse. Let's see here. Almost forgot the orientation, so it's important to remember. It snaps into place and screw it in. All right, let's solder the wire back together. Now, I will caution you guys, don't keep your iron on the metal brackets for too long as they are, they are uh, attached to plastic parts which can melt if it's on there for too long. So just briefly, Put your iron onto it. Shouldn't be there too long. Next, let's put this unit back together. Starting with the ribbon cables and connectors. And have the next one, this black tab, lift it up before you slide in this orange ribbon. Slide it in and push down to secure it. Next, close the speaker up starting from the base and the top should just get clamped in like that. And go ahead and put all these screws back. Next, this part may be tricky, but you can get it down. These little rings have an R and an L notched into them. So this is the right one. And we can see that there is an R and an L right here. This will help guide where they need to go. That's that one. The other one. There we go. Sometimes these little buttons could come loose, so be sure that they're in place. The volume up and volume down button. Next, let's grab our center ring. I actually like to start with the power button. Let's go ahead and do that. Just align the power button and all the rest should get seated. If you need a little, you can give a little nudge. And the last two screws. This rubber base could get sealed back just by pushing it down. They 
gets held down pretty good. But there you have it guys. A speaker driver replacement on a Beats Pill 2.0 speaker. Once again, if you're wanting us to do, to do this for you, we can gladly do it. The link should be in the description below, along with the screwdrivers and tools and parts that you're looking for. Thank you for watching guys, have a good day.